First alert weather day is on the way and it all begins on Friday. Now let's talk about the system snow first that is headed our way. It's going to be mixing with that sloppy rain and at times some sleet as well. I have turned back as some of these snowfall amounts here as I think we're going to be in uh, the warm air nose a little bit longer, especially north of US 30 Plymouth, Rochester, Warsaw down towards Winnemac. A uh, year in that two to four inch range. Meanwhile, South Bend, Elkhart, Goshen over towards uh, LaGrange during this three to six range and then along and north of the state line. You're in this four to eight range uh, from Bridgman, Berrien Springs to Wajak, Cass, St. Joe over towards Michigan City. And then I think there's going to be an excess of a, an access that is of some heavier snow and that's going to likely set up uh, across parts of northern Berrien County. And that's going to be the area that we're going to be watching for the greatest amount of snowfall from this system. So let's go ahead and put in a nice, easy format for you to digest here. As we go on into tomorrow for Friday, it's going to be more sloppy than snowy across all of Michiana. So let's walk you through this between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. I think road impacts are going to be limited out there. Yes, there will be some inconveniences on the roads, but as far as widespread impacts go on the roads, and that is not likely, and that's going to be all due to our air temperature that will stay at or just above that freezing point. So U.S. 30 and south, rain and sleet, hardly any snowfall accumulation. North of U.S. 30 to the state line, expect that mixture of rain, sleet, snow. In your form, a quick coating of snow, upwards to 2 inch could be possible throughout the daylight hours. And then across southwestern Michigan, It'll likely be the greatest amount of at least staying more into that the snow or slushy conditions out there for Friday with a mix of two to four inches. Then as we head towards Friday night between 4 p.m. and 4 a.m., this is the time frame that we're going to be watching for our air temperature to dip back down below freezing. Once that happens, roads will become icy and snow covered across many parts of Michiana. U.S. 30 and south will see rain to snow, two to four inches of snow north of U.S. 30 to the state line. Expect a mix to three to six inches of snowfall and then across southwestern Michigan. We're going to be looking at the access again of that heavier snow where we could be looking at six or more inches of snowfall as we head into tomorrow night. Then for Saturday, we transition on into lake effect snow roads all day long are going to be in tough shape due to the bitter cold air arriving. And again, that lake effect snow that is going to add several inches, especially in the traditional lake effect snow belt areas. And again, that Arctic air that's going to be Begin to move on in. We're going to be looking at wind chill values as we head on into Saturday around that 5 to 15 degree mark. And here's a look at more bitterly cold wind chills headed our way Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, that is the extension there of the first alert weather days. Again, you'll notice during the daylight hours, we get that feel like temperature into the teens and the night temperatures, at least for the wind chill factor. That is what it'll feel like of the exposed skin down into the 20s below zero. So this is a reminder to cover all exposed skin. Yeah. Take care of yourself during the cold and also please bring in your pets. Yeah, don't fool with this, folks. This is going to be challenging. I'm thinking Thinking about those road crews, right? We're seeing that mix of rain and sleet and snow, so they're right. dealing with that. And then all of a sudden, overnight, we're going to really get cold and get right. That Friday snow night, we're going to drop in. back down below freezing. And once that happens, you know that's of course when you'll see right. it sticking to the roads. Right. And then once we get past about 25 degrees, that's when the salt really becomes not right. as effective anymore. Right. So we just start it off and then just keep it going. Right. So that's why I think roads are going to stay in kind of tough shape even on into okay. the early start of next week due to that cold air lingering. Hey, I got an. Netflix account. I got a Hulu account. <laughs> well, unfortunately, if we look at the schedules for next week, Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day and a most lot schools going on. are off, but there's a lot of activities. Yep. So uh, we're going to keep you posted on all of that. That might change some things as well. That might. And again, that cold air on Monday, we've got some high temperatures right around zero for the Oof. actual air temperature that day. And we haven't had a single digit mm. high temperature since 2019. Wow. That's five years ago or 1800 days. <laughs> but who is counting? That is the question. He's our numbers guy. Wow. Can you tell? Yeah, I don't do math, so I'm like, sure, he's right. Okay. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five, five days. first alert weather days. I don't think we've ever issued five consecutive days before. Okay. We had three or four, 2022, right around the Christmas holiday, yeah. but five, that's a rare one. Here uh, we go. So it's snow first, rain and snow, and then the bitter cold. cold. It's also <laughs> it's also known as be nice to Andrew. Yes, Wick. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, All thank right. you. Thanks, Andrew. Hey, still to come, we have a busy show today. Two people were injured in a 